Two sounds that help. It's called the customer, uh, my custom. And I think I have to inject the, uh, I have to inject the tape and inject uh, the strike back in it. I think as, as, as the rest of the world, it's the way things are right now. Everybody's way is going to get work, it's going to get better. What I do right now is I invest or not invest. I think it's up to us right now to showcase our development, to showcase what we've done, to showcase that we are still going. This is not the end of the road. The road is a much longer road, and this is just the beginning. Now, it must be a challenge for you to restore that confidence if you recently reported your third quarterly loss, and then last week you were downgraded by one of the racing businesses. That can't help to restore confidence. And it's a very bad question. And I think what's, what we're focusing on in the next couple of, couple of months, the next couple of quarters, is telling the story. I think we and Alba know the story. We know what we're doing. We know what we need to progress and to strengthen ourselves and how we're basically strengthening our portfolio and both in investments and being investments in. And we're working on a lot of deals on the table right now to bring it back. So we have to basically portray that to the public. And if once we prepare it to the public and we prepare it to everybody else, I think that's the conflict will be coming exactly. Mohammed al Mubarak al Alba speaking to me earlier. Now, the businesses to Jerusalem often have a problem. So much to see, but so little time. Whether it's the gardens of Gethsemane, the Mount of Olives, the Dome of the Rock, or the Western Wall. But how about if you are one of those attractions yourself? How do you make sure you stay on the tourist trail? Well, one of the city's oldest sites now has a very high tech answer. It's Philip Hansen now reports. Jerusalem. Tourists visiting Jerusalem will be having some tough decisions to make. Do you spend your time walking through the gardens of Gethsemane, long paths once travelled by Jesus? Will you pay homage to the Western Wall, admire the architecture of the Dome of the Rock, or enjoy any number of other historic sites on offer? The fact is, there's simply too much to do. Turn that around for a moment, and for the sites themselves, it's equally an issue. How do you ensure your place of interest remains at the top of any visitors to do this? At the Tower of David, they hit upon an interesting idea, opening their doors at night and treating visitors to one of the world's largest projected light shows. directly onto the walls of the citadel. The spectacular uses French trompe d'oreille technology to fool the eye to see three-dimensional images. Of course, it has other advantages too. As word of mouth is spread, it's become one of the most popular ways to while away the warm Jerusalem evenings. The show was great, the lights were perfect, and it's amazing, it, it really makes you look like if you were living living the, the time. It was wonderful, I love it. We have many information of what is uh, the real story of the Jerusalem and the Jewish people, and I love it. Very, very nice. It also means the town can extend opening hours from simply the day and encourage visitors to come back and spend additional time here. That boosts the museum's revenue and makes it less reliant on donations and government subsidies. I think the Tower of David being as it is, it's a way to open it if they could 24 hours a day. Uh, I believe institutions like museums, with all respect to the um, big power of art and culture and so on, has to be very much uh, economically independent. And to do so, they have to find a balance between things that would be artistically fitted but also attractive enough for people to come in. Of course, one of the most difficult things about this project is that every time they wanted to put a sound system in or one of the laser like lenses, they had to physically remove the stones, put the wires under them, and then put them back in place to preserve the character of the tower. Even the speaker systems and projectors have to be placed away under stairwells and false windows or hidden in plain sight for the eyes of tourists just don't see them. But there's more to this than simply boosting tourist numbers for the Tower of David itself. What's good for these stone walls is also good for the surrounding area too. I believe very much in the power of culture as an economical and touristic power. 
If you would see just a day before and after the marriage was taken, you would see the big difference in the phone case that was basically closed at night because that nobody would hear. When you have a good cultural experience, then all the area would be benefit from it because shops would be open, the restaurants and the hotels and so on. Other parts of Jerusalem, like the old town, and now considering how they too can lose tourism. Of course, not everyone who works on the shady stalls that line its shadow dappled streets would be able to take advantage of longer opening hours. For some vendors, it may take them way past their bedtime. So the to reporting from Jerusalem now. Now it's time for us to take a short break, but when we come back, debating the alternative. We'll have the first in our special series of debates, looking at whether there are better places to put your money in the stock market. Yeah. 